Well, they probably, people tend to write those things after the fact and then claim that they were written earlier as a big plan, you know. But yeah, that's that's how a lot of but, but stuff who's is. The, 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 so yeah. I, but I, again, I, you know, I, I, I understand. I, I under I understand what what angle you're coming from, but you need to understand who's who's really going to achieve anything by doing that. I mean, this has been written, yes. I, I, I claim that I know who's written it, and you can say, well, you didn't see her write it. It could have been anyone. It could have been written after no, these things. No, I would go to me. Madame Blavatsky's own writings and be sure that she uh, that it's actually written and published by her, not this second, second-level stuff where people claim to be quoting. You know, you always go to the primary source. Always check like, exactly. what advice with rumors. Exactly. Always check with the source. You know, call the person well, they're talking about and say, did you really say that? <laughs> you know, instead of just going around saying, oh, so-and-so said, so-and-so said, you know. Um, but that's that's really where, um, you know, I think a lot of that stuff comes from. Is, um, have you have you actually researched her for yourself? Can you tell me anything about her? I, I have anything. my own problems with theosophy. I think it's very, very white, you know, white bias <laughs> and and bias against black uh, people. It's got that whole Aryan tinge to it, you know, the superior white race. Um, but that's uh, that's a whole. Do, do you believe? Do you believe that there is a superior white race in the earth today who who oh, could not possibly at all. be in control of it? <laughs> well, again, I suggest that 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 would be another thing that you'd have to you'd have to look at in order to come to. A, do you know what I mean? A sort of accurate decision of whether this is actually a conspiracy or not. In order to do that, I find the best way is trying to put pieces of the jigsaw together and see right, if you can see you the to, overall um, picture. You have to be careful where you get those pieces from because there's a lot of people claiming that, um, you know, that claiming to put them together when they're actually just trying to fit them into a preconceived agenda. I mean, if you I, want to see what's going on in the world today, just, just follow the headlines with Wall Street and the centralization of financial power, you know, and um, basically we really are being run by just a handful of, well, you know, like they say, 1%, actually 0.1% of the planet, you know, but they're they're in it purely for the greed, purely for that, um, that materialism I was talking about earlier. I don't think they care who's, you know, whose temple they worship in. They just want they just care about the money and the real estate that that temple's built on that they want to buy and exactly, sell. Ex- exactly. That's why I'm saying it's not such um, an, an overwhelming thing to, to maybe comprehend that there is a minority of people who happen to be white in this earth today who they are do to be in, white in, dominant con- in dominant dominant control of it. Now, color is irrelevant for me. I'm just saying it, it could be. It could be. Now, in order to find out, we need to we, we we need to apply a lot of research. Now, of course, you need to sift it through. Of course, there's a lot of lies out there. But what I'm saying is, ultimately, my my point was today: paganism is the same thing, and it's practiced on different levels. And but if you find the, like... the root of paganism, the root of paganism, you're saying on one hand you're saying Christianity, yeah, may worship Satan. But all the ceremonial dates that Christians are dealing with comes from paganism, yet you're, you're, you're not accepting the fact that paganism ultimately could be paying homage to Satan as well. Unknowingly, ignorantly, by dealing with different spirits, you may be paying, you may be paying homage to a different god. And that's what I don't understand, but I'll let, you, I'll let you answer that, but I'm coming off the line now. My phone is about to die, and I'm calling from the UK, so I'm going to have to go. But thank you for your time. I appreciate you listening. Okay, Steve, thank you. Okay, thanks for calling. Uh, Sean, Sean, God, just hold okay, on. Oh, okay, we got a lot of people in queue, so we need to keep on going. But I'm, I know oh, yeah. right now... Let, I, I know Lex right now. Lex Will is busting right now. I know Lex Will is like, man. I wish I had a couple more minutes. I know he want to come in, but Lex, I'm feeling you out there. All right, all right. Who we have coming on next? Uh, gotcha. Okay. Um, we had brother. We had brother Lex Will that was wasn't finished, so I'm gonna bring him back. He gave way to Josh, being that Josh was calling from the UK. How you guys doing again? Ah, brother, brother Lex Will. I'm gonna say. I want to say this too, also. 
Steve was nice enough to come on the show, and and I, and I like the way the show is going. Make sure I, the majority of people, are mad, probably everyone that come on, is not going to agree with him. We all know that, but let, let let's make sure we respectful, because later on down the line, you know, we're going to need him as a as as a, you know, if he decides to stay with what he's dealing with, I would love to call him in when we're dealing with the Christian. You understand, yep. and he can be he, he can be our our pagan. He can be our pagan expert. <laughs> so, just, so, so just be just be respectful. All right, all right. Who, who you have next? Okay, we're, okay. Next so for the listeners, let you know we're going over into the into the overtime show, and um, and for the record as well, um, this has been the, the 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 largest listenership of this show since I've been doing it that I've seen on it. Um, thank th- thank you everyone who's tuned in. Um, once again, uh, uh, Steve, thank you for for um, for coming on. It's been a light, enlightening. All right, you're locked into the Search Engine International. I'm your host, Brother Gaja. We're doing the final hour now in overtime. All right, uh, Brother Lexwell. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, when we left off, man, uh, we just talked about uh, that you guys that the Wiccans worship. They do not worship many gods, but rather one god with, and one goddess with many names, meaning Pan, Kernios, Mars, Zeus, Apollo, Thor, and Odin. Now, when we switch to the book of Revelation, um, many people do not believe Zeus is in the Bible, but he actually is. And this is why the Bible is a study guide, and it's very interesting. Revelation chapter 2 11 through 13, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. And to the angel of the church of Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Now, right there, if you said you had your computer, Stephen. If you type in Satan's seat, Pergamos, in the Google, and you hit images, it will show you the gigantic seat of Zeus in Pergamos, in uh, the old world. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, they, the Christians would have tried to tar it as the seat of Satan, even if it was actually the seat of Zeus. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying, you know, is that books, this Thing. Somebody calls you a communist doesn't mean you really are one. <laughs> <laughs> Understand, like, okay, look, hey, hey, you hey, 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 just say hypothetically, just say hypothetically, Lex, I'm going to let you come, come in. Just say hypothetically that Zeus was the Christian Satan. I mean, would that change anything with you? If you knew that was Satan, would that change whether or not you would be a pagan? Well, that's like saying, just hypothetically, if if one were two, you know, or if seven were twelve, you know, then I mean, it's that's, um, you know, it's like well, in reality, I think that um, like the Christian, the early Christians were applying the term Satan to every other god, but there's, I mean, yeah, they, according yeah, to them, every other deity to, was an aspect but of see, Satan. I'm trying to get a specific answer. We know what the Christians did. I'm asking you. If you knew that his name was Satan based on everything this religion has given you, would that make a difference to you whether it was Mars, Zeus, Pan, or Satan? Would that make a difference to you? If you mean the Christian Satan, I... Um... They're all the same, brother. So, you're, 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 it, you're no, 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 no. Cause, cause it, seems, it seems like your problem is, is, is how the Christians is demeaning your, your gods or gods. I'm not even going there. I'm just asking you, if it was Satan, based on right. everything they've done for you, would it make a difference to you? Well, that's like asking if, you know, if 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 uh, if your God were Satan, would that make a difference to you? I mean... Uh, absolutely it would make a difference to me. But it's not, you know? I mean, it's... Um, I'm saying, but it, absolutely. If I found out my God, like when I, I was a Christian... And I found out, growing up in Christianity, that it was paganism. And I looked up paganism in the original religions, and I found out 
the origin of the Bible is absolutely against these different gods. So I believe every god, the worshiping of more than one god, is Satanism in itself. Because well, then that's the where ancient. we part ways. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't so, believe so that. What, I believe that's, see, but that's this is, monopoly. This mono- is, um, so, exactly, exactly. So that, that's all I wanted to say. All right. Go, go ahead, Lex. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> all right. Here, um, you guys had mentioned uh, aliens, and uh, uh, Stephen, you had said they don't come when you call like the gods. Well, that's, yeah, that's, um, I mean, you know, that's kind of something we joke about, but it's kind of true, too. Uh, but we do believe, I mean, you know. Uh, um, On that statement. Itself, but my wife has seen some, had some extra, uh, seen some extra terrestrial craft, so. No doubt they're out there. I believe they probably are pagan, too. You know, I believe they probably worship many gods themselves. I mean, it's a huge universe. You know, it's it's a lot of different galaxies within galactic clusters, within, you know, it's far vaster than we can comprehend. And for us to say that every conscious being out there worships the same deity in the same way as us is just enor- enormous hubris and very... Um, you know, kind of immature, I think, honestly. Um, but that's, you know, but it's only in the last, what, 40 years that people have even begun to accept the idea that there might actually be other life, extraterrestrial life out there. So I think it's just going to take people a while to get used to the notion that there are many, many, many ways of of uh, worshiping the divine. Um, I think, you know, probably... A, a culture that's that advanced has probably already realized that, and um, you know. Um, but I, but I also want to say that there are also some religions, like like there's one called the Raelians that believes that uh, all the gods were actually aliens that came to Earth in the past. You know, kind of like in Stargate, right? And and uh, controlled and taught people and all this stuff. And we don't believe that. Or kind of like in Enoch when it says the Watchers went against the will and came to Earth? Well, that's, I know the Bible has some really puzzling quotes in it. Um, I'm I'm not ruling out, you know, nobody would, no no Wiccan would rule out that there have been extraterrestrial visits. We wouldn't say that maybe some of them did become worshipped as gods, but we just, what we're saying is that to say that all gods, were actually extraterrestrials is just materialism. That's just reductionism. It's just saying, you know, well, there's no such thing as the divine. It was all just... Well, not really on the alien comment, on the God comment, because you said the aliens don't come when you call like the gods do. Right, I did say that, and I... Yeah. Well, have you read, uh, say, anything about King Solomon and, and, and how he called the demons before? 